I'll tell you, Max. I don't know why I ever leave this place. I've got all the company I need right here. Hello! Hello! How are you? How are you? I asked you first! I asked you first. That's really mature. Say exactly what I say. Mature. Exactly what I say. I'm an idiot! You're an idiot! All right, fine. I'm not talking to you anymore. In fact, I'm going to whisper so that by the time my voice reverberates off the walls and gets back to me, I won't be able to hear it. You're an idiot! What a lovely, lovely scene from a beloved from? movie. What? You don't. Whoa! What? Whoa! Excuse me. What? You don't know where that's from? I don't know. Oh, he doesn't have any Christmas spirit. I'm, maybe Brian. I'm trying to no Christmas spirit. Okay, could you at least tell who the actor was? Sean? Sean? Sean. What? Who's Sean? Sean Connery? No. Sean I thought Connery. it was like a really bad Sean Connery impression. No. No. I say, old boy. <laughs> or no, like that. that is Jim Carrey as the Grinch. Oh. In the like 2003. It's no, it's it's literally 2000. 2000. No yeah. way. Is yes, it for real? 2000. Oh Directed by Ronnie Howard. Yeah. Wow. I've, 2000. I can't. There's actually dialogue worth listening to in that film. Oh, that Lord. movie's that so movie's good. Excellent. That movie is not good. It's so good. Uh, I try love again. that film. It is a I beloved movie. I love Ron Howard. Love Jim Carrey. Love uh, all the act Molly Shannon. Uh, but uh, that movie is not great. I'd rather watch the car 70s cartoon. Any day. Oh, ew, no. Any day. The, the mayor's no. wife. Oh my goodness! The she's, muscles. Yeah, she's something else. Those. It oh, was a girlfriend. They Christine were. They were Baranski. married. Yeah. Yeah. She was in uh, the Adams Family. Oh. Or Adams Family uh, Two. Oh, the one that's Values. beloved. Yeah. Oh, when that, when they so go to the camp. camp. Yeah. 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 When they go to camp. Christine Baranski. She's a. Yeah. Actor. She's amazing. Yeah. I don't, I can't believe you don't like that movie, Brian. No. It's don't so like it. good. It's no, rewatch it. Rewatch it. And I hate. I feel bad for Jimmy Carrey because he had to go like torturous makeup. If yeah. you read the stuff about making the film, the the costume was apparently absolute living hell to put yeah. on for however long they made that movie. And I saw it's just like ugh. ugh. Well, it turned he out to be one of my favorite Christmas movies. So. There's While that. he was in the makeup chair, he was um, being assisted by a guy that teaches people how to deal with being tortured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty insane. The yeah. lengths you go for your job, for an acting job. So, but, but even the movie looks so like garish, and there's this weird like '90s lighting. That's what I love about it. I it's hate. so of its time. And I remember being, I was, oh, let's see. I had to be like five, four, four, four five, yeah. something like that when that yeah. movie came out. But uh, I think this was a little bit No, after. listen, you were born in 93. This movie came out in 2000. I was born in 93. Or sorry, 97. born in 93? No, no shut up. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying you were three years old. I'm saying you were three years old. You were born in 97. Okay. The movie came out so, in 2000. So you were maybe three. Maybe a couple years later when I was like five or six, because I remember vividly, I would go spend the night at a friend's house. And for some reason, that was one of the DVDs that she had in her bedroom. And we would be watching that movie at night, fall asleep, and I'd wake up like, <gasps> you know how you kids do it, like 2 or 3 a.m. And they're like, yes. where am I? And it was the, like, opening trailer for the movie. And it was like, music from the Bare Naked Ladies. And I was like, what the? Bare Naked Ladies? Excuse <laughs> me. That's inappropriate. <laughs> as they're a Canadian. Five, they're from as Canada. a five or six-year-old, so... Uh, that's what I remember about that movie. Interesting. Yeah. Anyways, welcome back to yet another episode of Bump That. Bump That episode 130. If you don't know who we are, we've got Brian in this corner. You nauseate me, Mr. Grinch. 
does the Jim Carrey nauseate you? No, you do. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Uh, here we have KT in this corner. The impudence! The audacity! They are made again to go! The, it's so good. Uh, and I'm Miliana, your host, and we are siblings who have a love for all things nerdy, movies, video games, TV shows, all things of that sort, and decided to talk about it here on the internet with all of you people, and here you are listening. So, welcome! We've got quite a show for you guys tonight, and here's why. The Game Awards are tomorrow night, or if you're listening to the episode, today! The Game Awards are today! So, we're going to be talking about the Game Awards and are we getting this episode out tomorrow? Yes, I am. Be quiet. Whoa! Yeah, I am. I'm gonna do it. But how very meta of you. Yeah, they're tonight. <laughs> except we're recording this the night before. <laughs> so exciting stuff. We have some, uh, get, you know, best game of the year, best music, best performance. We're gonna be talking about only the genres that really matter. Okay, we're not going into best esport player, uh, best. Best accessibility. Yeah, it's like what? What? No. I have no arms, but I can still play games. Okay, I don't think that's what that means, but uh, I thought that's what it meant. Is that what it means fully? It's for our friends and family that are uh, unhandy capable. Our so. our toe users. Un unhandy cap unhandy capable. Yeah, say that three times fast. Anyways, no. so we'll be talking about that in a little bit. But first, we have had a I ton. don't have any eyes, and I can still Oh my gosh, games. this kid. <laughs> Somebody get him out of here. That's how I feel like I'm going to end up, though, over time. I'm so blind without hey, help. Hey, Super Mario, this is fun. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Which one's Mario? <laughs> that's going to end up being me. I'm going to be playing video games, but I'm going to be, like, nearly blind. Because I never got LASIK eye surgery. So. Hey, did you guys vote, by the way? Have you guys voted? What? Are you kidding me? There's voting? They allow anybody to vote for this? Yes, are you? Oh my, how long have we been doing this show? I did wait not minute, vote. Minute, we minute. do this every year. Where you vote for your... What Here's your favorite, my thing. whatever. Here's my thing. Last year was a pain in the butt to vote, okay? The interface was horrendous to use on a phone. Just absolutely awful. You're on a computer right now. Wait a minute. Here's my question. So the Oscars, those awards are given out by members of the Academy. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, Grammys, you have to be a member of the Grammys, the Music Recording Industry Association. Yes. Okay. SAG, you gotta be a SAG member. FAG, you gotta be a FAG member. Excuse um, me? Yeah, Film Actors Guild. What the heck, man? What the uh, heck, Ileana? Oh, this is a family show. <laughs> yeah, Film Actors Guild. They have kids, too. Anyways, um, so what? But for the video game awards, they just allow the general public, not the video game creators. That to is vote correct. On... That is correct. And, I mean, there are, okay. um, I don't know how much weight those right, that's, that's what I'm Bef thinking. I before... don't know how much. But like, like Teen Choice Awards, only teens are allowed to vote. I kids used to Choice vote on those. Awards, allegedly. Only kids are allowed to vote. You have to be under nine years old to vote allegedly. for your favorite Dr. Dre song. Or Nicki yeah, Minaj what is, song. What are these kids oh doing God. listening to these people? Is beyond You know, me. it's true. So, anyways, I digress. Absolutely. <laughs> right. So, yes, it is the people's choice of these uh, video games. However, I don't know, like Katie said, how much they're weighted in. La, la, la. I don't know. But, so it, I, no, for, I did uh, not. I did not how do we know here. which one is really the best accessible game, then? On what merit do you I say don't know. That? That, that's, why, that's why it's based on, uh, like, it's weighted. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this game is best for left-handed people, you know? So only left-handed people should be able to vote. Uh, what? No. I don't know if that's what that means. I think accessibility means can, like, people get to the game. Can people 
played the Oh, game. this game is so cheap, anybody could play it. It's literally free. Or even region-wise, like, you know how some games are not available in certain regions? I don't know if that's what that means either, I blah, blah, I blah. I don't think that's what it means, honestly, actually. I, this could be, like, not silly. I think it is, it's like, they're supposed to make games, like, easier for people that are have only two fingers or something. I, Am I wrong? I don't. Somebody comment. I'm, in the I'm pretty sure. Section. I'm pretty sure it's um, for games that are able to accommodate people with uh, handicaps, disabilities. Okay. Yeah, disabilities. I right. I truly believe that. Okay. Well then. So uh, I shouldn't be able to vote for that because I'm perfect. And <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm perfect. rolling my eyes so far back in my oh, head Lord. right I now. I can't, I can't stand so it. I can't stand it. Anyways. I'm just being. I'm just being that guy. We did a villain. In okay, our you're you're being. No, we the, don't. What is that? What called? do they call the like? You're when, being the mosquito wrestling? in my ear while I'm trying to sleep at night. What like in wrestling, the bad guy? What do they call those guys? The there's like. Where they have like a special word. The instigator. Use. Maybe something like that. Yeah. Yeah, Brian's the instigator. Uh, He's the devil's advocate right now. No, yeah. that no, the devil's just, advocate is a good thing. Yeah, no, I'm being an idiot. We all know that. Anyways, uh, we will talk about that in a little bit, but not about the accessibilities. No, we're gonna skip those ones. We're just gonna be talking about the good stuff, the meat, the 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 rich stuff. Okay, so if you haven't left already, please stay tuned for that. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go into some trailers that dropped over this past week. All right. There have been a lot. And um, I don't even think I got them all when I put them in the dock. There's right, so many. There, there's some good. There's some bad. So let's discuss them. The first one that's up on the list is Grand Theft Auto. What number is that? I'm not good at Roman numerals. Is that four? Five? It's six, six, you dummy head. Dang it. Anyways. <laughs> sorry. I tried. I don't know. R Roman numerals at all. Try um, harder. You know what? You know what? Now, I gave you guys some homework to watch the yes. minute and a half trailer. Did you guys do it? Yes. Yes, Don't even Dad. say anything, Katie. I said yes, Dad. Good. Yes, we watched it. All right. What's So what is thoughts, responses? Because you guys are all Grand Theft Auto players, correct? No. Incorrect. You guys Incorrect. Have... Wait a minute. The biggest money maker of all time. You guys never played it? Grand I've Theft never Auto touched 5? a single Grand Theft oh, Auto God. game. In it's my not life. my kind of game. Now I've watched people play it, but I don't. I don't play that I kind of game. I haven't even gotten that far. I've never watched a single person. So this play game it. is not. You guys aren't interested for. It's the biggest not on my radar no, at, at all. all. Although, although. It looks, it's going to be huge. No, it this, will be. This game is going to be bigger than GTA 5 for oh, a ton of yeah. reasons. Well, do your husbands play Grand Thefts? Do no. they partake? They nope. don't? No. Wow. No. Okay. So here was my initial thought. It looks like Play-Doh as always. Oh my gosh. How dare you? They look like Play-Doh. All the Grand Theft Auto games, the characters look like straight up clay. And oh I dislike my gosh. it. Um, but, but I am happy for those who do love and enjoy the game that they get to love and enjoy a new game. So good on. See, them. I don't, I don't completely disagree with you, Ileana. Plato. Yes like and no. Yes and no. Yes and no. It it's not that it looks cheaply made. It's that it's uncanny. However. Yes. The assets of the game look incredible. Sometimes I can't tell the difference between what's real and what's fake. Katie, I was literally going to say the exact same thing. Literally. They did screenshots of... Um, uh, because this film is... This game is based in Vice City, which is Miami. In the greater Florida, Everglades, all that. And so I saw shots, stills of uh, real life locations in Florida, Miami, Miami-Dade County, and then Vice City. And you couldn't tell, There's it was so close, you couldn't even tell the difference. It looks so good, so real. Now, they're I, the already- effects, effects wise, yeah. the game looks immersive. Yeah, that you can't disagree with. Now, what I find hilarious is already the amount of memes that are quantifying themselves. No kidding, really. And they, 
um, the creators of GTA Rockstar Games, they they took actual like Florida man stories. Oh, and they yes. and they oh yes gosh. and they yes. put it into the trailer That's and so they have brilliant. they have them like side by side for comparison brilliant i freaking absolutely love it. genius and it makes me in a, in a way it makes me feel sad for the quality of our world man there's just so much debauchery no, in it's real life it makes me we feel all know so sad you're absolutely Katie, it might be the best thing you ever said in this entire program. Podcast. It makes me feel sad about the debauchery of the real world. No, because actually at the end of the day, I think this is a depiction of Florida. Florida. Which we gotta Just make in sure. Just the south, man. Iliana and I we live in Georgia. No. We're in like... The south. They are Florida. <laughs> they're we need so to let people sick, know man. that I want to make this concrete in our podcast. Florida is full of psychos numbskulls serial killers and rednecks it is not and old people there we go all right yeah it is not always the paradise that people make it out to be florida is a wasteland specifically of, miami and specifically. all the above all the above all the way from tallahassee to miami brah the tampa tampa yeah. orlando, like Dayto orlando daytona Daytona. Daytona. Yeah, no. And so what they did, it's just like another state that's really messed up and full of weirdos and psychos and, and sociopaths. Like they've got, they Wisconsin. Have alligators. They have alligators, okay, that yeah. just roam. They're just there, okay? And it's then, literally the Wild West is and Florida. Then, what are they called? Uh, swamp pits? Pits that just form up out of nowhere? Sinkholes. You know, sinkholes. Sinkholes. Thank you, Katie. Yeah. And again, with the smart words today. Look, <laughs> sinkholes just pop out of nowhere. You're walking down the there street. Holes you're going to sink things. You're going to get. You're going to checkers. You know, and all of a sudden, <laughs> oh my god, a sinkhole is just popping up, man. Or, oh, or darn. it's winter time, and then an iguana land just falls right out of yep. the sky because yep. they freeze up and they just fall right on top of your head. True story. No man, but that's what they do. Florida is full of absolute schizoids, junkies, freaks, the it's dregs of society. And Grand Theft Auto is like we're making a game based off of this. And let me tell you, the F Grand Theft Auto Five made billions. It made bill. Join with me, sisters. It made billions, billions. and billions. billions. Of dollars, billions. Dollars, billions. Dollars, billions. Billions. This will do just that. People will literally take the whole workday off on the game's release. More than, I think, any other franchise. Maybe Call of Duty's up there. But people will literally play hours upon hours. And when they eventually come up with the online version of G uh, GTA 6, it will double and dominate. And people will literally spend their lives... On the game yeah no i have no doubt about that um and what i mean by it looks like clay it's the people okay the people in the games look shiny for some reason they always look shiny and play-doh-y now i'm looking All at right, the background <laughs> i'm looking at the backgrounds and they look fine they look really really good but it's the people the people always look like Plato like stuck together. I don't did know. Did you ever did you ever play the Red Red Dead Two? No, but I watched you and other YouTubers play it. Uh, what's what's your? You think that was about no. the same? No. And here maybe this is the difference. GTA shows a lot of skin. You have yeah, to maybe. because that's the type of game it is. It's very provocative. You see a lot of skin, skimpy outfits. So it might look shiny you're seeing a lot of skin it looks stuck together whereas something like red dead you're wearing jeans you're wearing a plaid you're covering the character model so you only see face and maybe hands if anything so you're saying right now the big main shot that everybody's talking about in gta is like the, there's this woman wearing a bikini and she's just like full guns out yeah. to the camera so you're saying it looks just completely fake and plasticky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she looks good. like a Barbie doll with clay. 
Hmm, interesting. So I don't think she looks real at all. Okay, but maybe that's a good thing because this game, these games are so realistic. Otherwise, so immersive yeah. that maybe it's good to actually have it be a little look like simulated. A game. Yeah. yeah, because what I mean, obviously, what Rockstar does best is they have these massive open world games name one other company video game producer that is anywhere near the scope of rockstar i can't <laughs> sister i can't um okay. they they do produce they don't produce as many games like annual games or even biannual or triannual no. But what they do produce, it is high quality, and they're built to last. Like they last a long and I time. Think they have that's a long better longevity. Than something that's like Cyberpunk, uh, twenty seventy seven. That just or even Pokemon. I'll I'll throw Pokemon under the bus. I would rather have a quality game with a lot of longevity than something thrown together. Put it, say put it this way: the fr Grand Theft Auto Five that got released back in wasn't it 2013 yeah i want to say 2013 2014 it got released on playstation 3 wow it got released for all the other systems it kept getting remastered and online for all the new consoles so you're talking it's just it lasted a whole generation you know of of gaming right and 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 literally every week you would see top five games being sold grand theft auto 5 would always be for years and years and years it was always being a top five item being sold and that's good that People just goes it. to show you that you don't need to keep popping out games if it has enough and it's good enough it will hold its own you don't need to pop out another pokemon another pokemon another pokemon every year to keep your audience they're there if it will be a good game or if it is a good game i wonder i wonder what the numbers i thought i saw them i i mean this i might be way off but i think it was like a hundred million copies a hundred million copies something of like that five That's yeah they're sold well we'll, good on them, we'll, though. we'll see we'll see when, if six when is the does release? that it's in uh, 2025. 2025. Yeah. So we still got a whole other year or yeah. and more to go. I thought it's a little silly for them to announce it literally over a year in advance. Um, because I say that because Elder Scrolls 6 did that years ago. They gave a teaser trailer at the Video Game Awards. I want to say, let's see, where it's 2003. Maybe it was 2019. Red Dead 2 did that same thing. Red Dead yeah, 2 did that. And, but the problem is, um, at least Red Dead 2 came out. We're still waiting on Elder Scrolls 6. Metroid Prime 4 did that and well, never they, came out ever. Well, the, what they did with Metroid Prime 4, they weren't anticipating scrapping everything and starting from yes, scratch. Yes, they still released a, here's a the title, here's yeah. the title, and then never again. So... This, I'm glad they actually have something established already. The game looks like it could drop at any minute. You know, it looks finished. So, you know, that's got it going for it. Uh, and it builds the anticipation for players, gets them excited, gets them buying, saving up for... It's on PlayStation, you said, right? Right? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. yes. So, uh, get if they don't have a PlayStation 5... Five, right? Are we on five? Gosh, I'm so. Yes. I'm so oh my behind. gosh. Can you what not? What in the world? There's so. We much have to a keep video game channel. This There's is so it. There's so much to keep up with. Oh my! The number five. <laughs> with all the different consoles. Now I will say that last thing. Last thing. It's. It'll be interesting to see what Xbox and Nintendo do that year in 2025. I know that's a long ways off. But you have Nintendo that's supposedly releasing their new console next year, whatever that looks like. You said Nintendo? 
Yeah, Nintendo. Okay. And it'll be interesting to see what they do in 2025. Now, they could do... Nintendo's known for doing their own thing and just not giving a flying flip what the other consoles are doing. Um, but if they want a crack at uh, any kind of awards that year, then it'll be interesting to see what they come up with. Xbox, that will be another huge thing. I wonder if that's when they will release uh, Elder Scrolls 6. Well, only time will tell. Bump that will be there. That's exclusive, right? It'll well, be exclusive because uh, wow. Xbox or uh, Microsoft Bethesda. owns Bethesda. Bethesda, that's right. Wow. Yeah. Dang. All right. Crazy. That'll be that'll be the year to pay attention to. Next year, eh, we'll see. But in this time, like my point I was trying to make before Katie was being mean to me, um, this is, mean to me. this is the time for those people to save their their hard earned money and go out and buy a PlayStation Five so that they can enjoy GTA Six when it pops out. See, there's just too many numbers to catch up with. Too many. But then they might have a Five Pro. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. So you know. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, moving on with trailers. Okay, still more to go. This one is video game related, yet it is actually a TV show trailer that's being dropped. And that is Fallout on Amazon Prime. That trailer for the TV show has dropped. Um, you guys all watched that, correct? You both yawned at the same time. Okay? <laughs> you both looked like little guinea pigs going... Ah! Don't tell the audience that we yawned, man. It is late. In our defense, in, in Georgia, it's nearly 10 o'clock at night. Okay? Yeah. And I'm, I've and, been very And here sick. in Minnesota, it's nearly 9 o'clock at night. Oh, my oh, God. yeah. And I've been up since 5.30. And, and I'm, I've been very sick. I actually didn't go to school today. I was so sick. Man, oh, man, I wish I didn't go to school. Yeah. Today. Anyways, so, yes, Me Fallout, too. the trailer released today. Uh, what did you guys think of it? I thought it looked awesome. It looked very good. It it, looked it looks very, very similar good. to the game. Um, so yeah, they put a lot of money into it. it looks like so, here, and they they put a lot of detail into it. Here's my yeah. issue: I know nothing about Fallout except for the Fallout game that Katie used to play, where it's like you're in the shelter and you're like fixing things, like underground. That's one of the computer games, right? The it's a mobile the, game. Yeah, that's oh, the, mobile one? That's the only Fallout I've ever seen, so I have no idea what it's supposed to look like. Oh, um, my gosh. But, it, sure, it looks great. I like what they've done with the different character-looking creatures. Like, there's one guy that's missing a nose. There's one person with little... one eye. Um, there was, like, a giant axolotl creature with, like, little fingers in its mouth. That was pretty cool to look at. Uh, giant cockroaches yeah. there's lots of different mutants and yeah radioactive because the, well, the story is that uh in the 1950 because it's set in kind of an alternate universe of the united states where in the 1950s the united states still had a lot of technology but it was at war with china <gasps> newsflash that might be true and um there was nuclear war and then these people a lot of people were able to go into vaults for a hundred years or so, depending on which vault you go into. There are these underground bunkers around the United States. So as all the nuclear bombs fell uh, hundreds of years later, people leave the vaults and they see that the whole landscape has been changed into uh, the wastelands. And there's mutants and factions and just weird, creepy crap everywhere. Bottle caps. Bottle caps. Yeah, currency is by bottle caps. Yeah. Can't wait for that to become our reality. Oh, yes. Welcome, children. I <laughs> didn't see one pet boy in there, though. Not one pet boy. Yeah, they might. They, might, uh, we'll see. they like have the, to. That like is the actual logo, like of the character? Yeah. Okay. It's called a pet boy. Yeah. Um, But it'll be fun. It'll be interesting. It looked. um. It looked fun and action packed. So I don't think it's gonna take itself too seriously, but you know what um, it, you know what it reminds me of? You know they're making a Borderlands movie? I wonder if it's gonna be similar to that. Uh maybe. Maybe. Oh, I like Borderlands. It, it, Holy crap. I, I didn't even add this to the show doc. 
The Furiosa trailer, too. Oh, I oh, saw. Yeah. I did see that. Yeah, that looks really good. Taylor Joy is playing Furiosa. And, that's, and yeah, then Mad cool. Max is very similar. The whole That whole franchise is very similar to Fallout. Maybe, then, maybe they're just trying to prepare us for our own nuclear wasteland that's coming. Oh that may or may not be coming soon. They're going to get ready. And then I wasn't just, there the trailer? Not a trailer. Today, uh, a teaser Great. image for Horizon Zero Dawn as well. Oh yes, yeah. that looks so good. If um, I I don't know who's playing Aloy, but just that one picture was so good. That oh, like it looks so good. So you're saying you're more excited about that than Fallen? Well, I love Horizon Zero Dawn in Horizon Forbidden West. Um, amazing, amazing game. Those those games were. They came out, if they had come out on a different year, they would have won Game of the Year. They just could not keep up with God of War or uh, Zelda or um, Red Dead Spider Redemption, oh, Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah, even, well, it came out, it, I think it was a little bit slightly more popular than Spider-Man. Not by much. Maybe they're equal. Yeah. But um, they just it just could not keep up with the games that it was competing with in the years that it was nominated for stuff. Which is a travesty because those games are spectacular. I can hear your Snorlaxes. I'm sorry, they're my Snorlax slippies. They snore. What the heck was that? Yeah, I was like, is that they're your my breathing? <laughs> <laughs> no, my my slippers make noises. Oh my I want. I, I'm not even moving my feet, but um. I keep hearing them. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Either way. Anyways, moving on. Anyway, so, so um. Yeah. What are we talking about? Are we talking about Just um, all these trailers? Are we talking about Furiosa? Are we talking about? All right. Well, Fallout looks good. It. I think the main actress she was in um that uh zombie movie by Zack Snyder that also had Dave Bautista. You guys remember? Did you guys see that? She's been in. A, she's been in a lot of things. Anya oh, Taylor Joy. She? She no, played... I'm no, talking no, about no, Fallout. no, no. Oh, Fallout. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The main lady in that she was in the zombie movie with batista zombie Snyder. movie that yeah it's on netflix <gasps> yes army, i did watch that army of the dead yes Is that, what it's that was yeah. ridiculous I, I didn't that movie it was that. so ridiculous. it was a little much but according to netflix that movie would have made if it got released per uh, demet, uh actual theatrical it would have made like 200 million dollars it would Ella have been the biggest time Speaking of theaters and movies go not being in theaters, quick segue. Uh, this came out, I think either it came out yesterday that Pixar is releasing yeah, Soul, Turning Red, and Luca in theaters early next year. I did see limited that. limited Why? run. Are they doing like Be a triple, Monday? Triple. No. no. No, no, no. They're coming out like Soul is going to be showing in January. Okay. Um, I think turning. I think of all things, turning red is coming out in. Well, I guess it makes sense in February because you know red Valentine's Day, and sure. then Luca is coming out in March. Okay. Interesting. Money. Money. Very, very interesting. I don't think they're going to make much. No, but maybe they're also trying to get into the good graces of the creators, you know? Maybe they're doing uh, it solely for the creators. Well, yeah, but... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Considering Anyways, one of those to... movies came out, like, years ago now, And it's they're like, not ugh. their best movies either, so... No, I but... Don't know Wait a minute, I know... To... Wait, out of all those three, which is the best? In my opinion... Uh, soul. Yeah, Soul. Uh, I was gonna say Turning Red. I I like Soul, but I think it's really one. Turning Red. I think in Iliana. In, I'm gonna in Pixar style. In Pixar style, Soul is one of the more boring ones. <gasps> no, it's one of the I don't more think so. Mature, boring movies. It's definitely very introspective. Yes, and uh, I don't think it's very. Exciting for a child to watch, and yeah, I don't think no, that's the 100% Pixar brand. Yeah, no, 100% agree with you, 100%. So I don't think that's going to be getting the audience but, coming in that they want. But that was like 
the Ratatouilles and the Wallies. That was like the creme de la creme of yeah, Pixar. Yeah, I could there, see Wally being up there with that. But uh, uh, Ratatouille's uh, more interesting. A six-year-old kid's not going to be interested in Ratatouille. No, they're going to want to go see the Luca. Yes, they will because they'll be like, oh, it's no, a talking rat. It's a talking yeah, rat and it matter. cooks. Yes, it does. Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. But um, to say that turning red is the best of those three, I think is absolutely ridiculous. No, I might say actually Luca is. I think it's cute. It's fun. Uh, it's charming, sweet type. Of I don't movie. like. I I don't like Alberto. I'm sorry. What? I, like I do not like. I think he's really mean. Actually, I don't think so. I think Alberto is really really mean. What was the name of the girl in that movie? Carlotta or something like that? No. No. Start the... with a G. Julia? Is oh, that her name? Yeah, Julia. Yeah, Julia. Yeah, okay. Spulula. Spulia. Spulia. Yeah. I did yeah. like her. She was she was very nice. She was and a lot like, of fun. She was a little spitfire. <laughs> the, dad. And... the dad. I loved yes. him. He was so good. The, but was the dad too much like the dad in uh, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs? Sure. Were they, weren't they literally the same? Yeah, but what's thing? what's wrong yeah. with that? What's I don't wrong think with that's that? That's a problem. Anyways, all right. Anyways, so the Furiosa trailer came out too. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, uh, and that looked, looked really, really good. Cool. Oh, yes. dude. Hemsworth. It came out of nowhere. It came out of Hem nowhere. Yes. Hemsworth is in it. Looks like he's got like a yeah. nose job or something in it. But man, I I am so excited. I and it's funny because I think a few days earlier I literally was just put on I put on Fury Road just for the have it in the background or something while I was doing what some work. What an interesting movie to throw on in the background. Just while you're that doing movie the dishes. Any single time, any time, because it's just immaculate. It's wonderful. Uh, hang on, I gotta vacuum my house real quick. I'm gonna put on Fury Road. <laughs> Witness <laughs> me. <laughs> Valhalla, baby. Yes. So, and I, when, when did it say when this movie's coming out? Is it next year? It would have to be. Yeah, I think so. Also, what's really interesting about all of these is they're coming out soon. And I would have thought that the writer's strike would have pushed them back I, way I think, further. I think everybody had all these movies, projects were done. They just couldn't release them mm, okay. until everything got. So I think now that everything's kind of, which I think they got signed today officially. Yeah. The contracts are signed with SAG. Um, but uh, they were all waiting for all that to just float away. And now everything's yeah. coming out. So uh, I'm super excited. I was thinking like, if it's rated R, I probably can't take the kids to see it. But I it's don't know. Well, the girls at all to see that. I don't think you should. I don't think. What do you guys think? Do you think Fury Road is that is not appropriate for children? Yes. Not appropriate at all. What part? What part of that is so? It is, it is violent. Mommy what part? Maker makers. Yeah, it's That's violent. Really weird. It's suggestive. Sister, sister Katie, we watch Terminator Two with the kids, rated R. All right. Oh, no, 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 listen, no, listen, freaking listen, shut up. Era of movie, okay? That is it's so no, listen, no, no, listen, no, listen, no, listen, 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 Linda, Linda, listen. You can with your own children in your home. Sure, you're in the comfort of your home. You can talk about things. You can pause things, and you can talk about it. Okay. And you've also already seen the movie. You know how it is. Yes. If you go to a movie in the theater brand new, you have no idea what you're going to see. I would read the plugged in, focus on the film. It doesn't it, matter. It does not matter. It's still rated R. Now, sure, we, we saw rated R movies when we were kids, but I think that a movie like this, it can be scary it is suggestive. It is violent. So, I don't know. Discretion. My opinion is that they let way more gore and things are way more realistic than they were in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s even. Okay? Things are way more realistic. Everything is CGI'd. And... 
I don't I don't think No, George Miller and, doesn't do CGI. Okay. And hey, still. hey, let's get biblical. You want to get biblical? Everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Your That's in the Bible. Are talking. Yeah, they're they're saying testify. <laughs> Either way, I think a movie like that would need to be definitely under parent discretion guidance everything like that but seen no, before you're probably right as usual we'll yeah keep an eye there's out no for him, there's you? no need there's what would be the benefit of taking your daughters to go see a movie like that and they're so at little. that age at that it's age it's about a kick butt lady driving yes. cars okay go take wasteland. her to see some other movie first let let them mature a little bit you know or if they if they show desire that they want to go see it Okay, maybe show, maybe, you know, if you want to show some discretion there. If there's so, but I don't think your daughters would be interested in that. Nah, I'm against it. <laughs> I'm just going to flat out say no, I'm against it. No, you're probably right. But I know eventually I can't wait for them to see Fury Road. I would say they need to be yeah. like 14, 15, 16 years old before they can see and appreciate a movie like that. Whereas They're not going to understand the three virgins. <laughs> like they're not gonna understand the significance yeah. of that, you know. Well, they don't even need to. Uh, they can understand, like, oh. Mary's I think that a part would go over their heads. Yeah. They're like, you know. No, but my thing is like, you've got these type of mommy milkers over there, and that's like, why? That's really weird. I don't. I think. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> yeah, I think stuff like that. They would just be like, what the heck, and really weirded out and kind of grossed out about and just not understand uh, it. So. Who doesn't love milk? Mommy milkers. Okay. So let me change the subject now. Uh, Brian ruined it. <laughs> my my own children watched um, Carnage, the Venom Carnage movie. Oh uh, yeah. And I was like, uh, I'm already kind of iffy on that one. And it's not even that bad. But I was like, I don't, I don't know. They're still so young that I'm like, they need to be watching A Bug's Life. They need to be watching Bridge to Terabithia, you know, type of movies, not adult. Or teenager Hon movies. Honestly, uh, this past Friday, the past few Friday nights, we've been going through the HP series. Yeah. We are now this Friday. We're watching Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, and honestly, there's a few parts that have been pretty spooky and scary. Like when Cedric yeah. died, I was yeah. like, "Man, what the heck, Cedric? Bra, come on, man!" E even I got scared about the boys that were sitting in the living room watching that scene with me. I was like, "Oh, this is kind of..." scary like frightening. or or when uh dolores sombridge is making harry write i must not tell lies yes uh, that was pretty messed up bro yeah, yeah so that type of stuff is like oh parent discretion it's all fake children remember it's not real <laughs> and those are i think i think goblet of fire was pg-13 i think after that after azkaban they all became pg-13 so and which makes sense kind of... the children had grown up as well so they could do well the stories had gotten darker anyway they yeah, had to it, it had to progress and the children got older and they could and ron and hermione more. were shacking it up so. okay they weren't but <laughs> anyways we're gonna move on so fallout furiosa uh horizon zero dawn all of that was just talked about okay a show i would definitely 100 percent not let my kids watch no never the boys never the i boys. don't even have wanting to watch the episodes that i've watched i watched a couple and i'm like my eyeballs <laughs> but they're so funny you know you're like can't help but laugh at there's that. i don't i was just wa hun I, okay hang on i walked in on hunter watching an episode Ooh, what are you watching hunter and there was a guy watching like cartoon characters on a stage like in a room and i was like what the heck and the cartoon characters are beating each other up i'm like this is gory what is happening it was so violent i didn't like it they were like like looney tune type cartoon characters oh sure and yeah. they're beating each other up. I'm like, good goodness, what is this? And then he's like, oh, yeah, it's the boys. I'm like, <gasps> yeah. I I started I st watching um, uh, the spinoff, uh, Gen V, which is oh, also yeah, on Amazon, yeah, yeah. and that's also literally the first scene is like of the newest series is so gory. But the trailer for the new season of the boys just came out. Yeah. 
I guess I'm the only one that's a fan. I watched it though. I watched Correct. the trailer. I watched the trailer. <laughs> Hunter's a fan. Yeah, it's great. It's it, a great show. The trailer, Brian, gave me um Dark Knight vibes just watching it. Yeah, I could see that. And I was like, I think this is gonna be good because of the way that they're setting up the scenes and that they're the voiceover, everything like that, and just the the evil superhero guy I don't, I don't know anything about the show yeah um the way he looks so menacing just like in the crowd and then in the elevator i was like whoa that's like joker type of crap right i'll there. put it to you this way if you like invincible you will like the boys <gasps> i just caught um, up with invincible it's so oh, good dang. i haven't watched this last week's episode so good um yeah but i love it love it love it love it, love it. yeah um, i don't but- i don't think i can like it the boys because it's real people it is real people and the carnage is crazy they let everything fly it's soups graphic ridiculous there was one scene where this guy is bashing in someone's head i was like that's like too realistic i'm like watching a legit murder happen yeah the the c-bombs are c-bombing yeah So, so i don't know if i could tolerate that one i think i'll just go watch uh cartoon characters from invincible go get split in half yeah but um i'm excited can't wait because people have been waiting to see this for a, a year or two now and it's yeah. finally coming out so remember season when four. shows used to come out like you know every september the new season of a show will come out nowadays you have to wait at least two three years like we're like you guys know we have to wait like at least till 2028 for the next the final season of um stranger things really 2028 yeah oh my gosh that's what so year will long it be from in that, now. What year will it be in that universe? It'll be like right after, but it's. They won't look it, like what? The same that's person. a that's a lie. <laughs> that that's impossible. That's not true. They don't even look like the same people anymore. No, it won't be in 2028, but it's gonna be like 2025 for um. Oh, that's a quite a difference. Yeah, I know. I'm just. I'm but it's like, oh still a long time. 2028. Oh, I'll be like, my. In it my might 30s. as well be 2032. Jeez, Louise. Like, exactly. It's like, do we oh, even care gosh. about this show at this point? Wait a minute. That came out. That last season of Stranger Things came out in 2022. We're going to have to wait three years for the final season of the show. That is a long, I don't know. stinking You're- time. You're telling us all kinds of... You're just throwing out all, all right. kinds of numbers. I don't know what to I'm believe a, anymore. Hey, Siri, when is the final season of Stranger Things? Look, Katie, I drew my nose. I'm proud of you. Thanks. I'll draw yours next. Wait, where is Siri? Answer She's, me. She said it's... It was renewed for a fifth and final season. Let me see. Fifth. That's your nose, Kate. Looking down. Final. It doesn't dip down that low. Season. All right. As of November 6, 2023. All right. Okay. Let's see. This is so that's pretty recent. Um. Stranger Things final scene was supposed to begin production this summer, but it was pushed back due to the stupid writer and actor strikes. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, it will likely delay the release of the last, even though possibly the late 2025 or early 2026. Oh my gosh. I'm wow. telling you. I know I, I know I was exaggerating, but it's going to be a buttload of time before we get to see the final season that kid, uh, the redhead kid, is going to be like in a coma all that time. Redheaded kid. Yeah, the one that uh, fought Vec- Vecna or whatever the heck is. Oh, Max. Yeah. The little girl, Max. Max. Yeah. So. Roxanne. Ding. So yeah, so Max is going to be she's going to be in the bed the whole time. Like, dang, Max really grew up in the bed the whole time. <laughs> you know. Yeah. That'd be something. Lucas grew up and forgot about her. He's done got a wife and kids. (laughs) Goodness gracious. 
He had to move on, Max. He I'm had to sorry. move on, man. The Dang. SAG-AFTRA uh, writer strike pushed back everything. So now he couldn't wait on you. He couldn't wait on you, Max. Millie Bobby Brown is already married and got like a couple pops of her own. And anyways. Yeah, and the brother is in jail for drugs. He's been in prison. Which one? Um, uh, uh, the nerdy kid's brother. That went out. That's going out with um, what's her face? Gosh, oh. it's been so long. I already forgot all the characters' names. Oh, the one that does the weed. Yeah. Charlie was that his name? That's the actor's name. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. Nobody knows because, and nobody's gonna care because Stranger it's Things gonna is gonna be gonna come so out far from so now. So long from now. Yeah, that it's gonna be too far. See, nobody off. cares. Nobody cares. Nobody but anyways, cares. this is something we do care about. Okay, the Game Awards are technically tonight. All right, and we want to talk about the 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 meat, the meat and potatoes here. Okay, Game of the Year, best score in music, best performance, and best family games. So I'll go ahead and well, I'll I'll go from the bottom. Oh, there's up. one more at the bottom. If you scroll to the next page, most oh, anticipated sorry. game. Yeah, so I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna make my way up my way up so we can talk about the exciting one last okay so for the category most anticipated game the nominees are final fantasy fi <laughs> final fantasy 7 rebirth hades 2 like a dragon infinite wealth star wars outlaws and tekken 8 okay so this is most anticipated game all right what do you think i voted I voted for Hades too, but I, I think, think um, I think you're right. Hades two is gonna win. Mm, I'm thinking Final Fantasy seven was already a thing, so I don't know. Um, maybe Hades two. I'm I'm Hades. Go I'm going yeah. back and forth between Final Fantasy seven and Hades two. So Hades two, or excuse me, Hades the original Hades was such a blockbuster, yes. underground hit. Yes. Um, it came out of nowhere, and it was nominated yes. for so many awards, and it won a good handful. Um, I've never played Hades. Uh, I've, I've seen some gameplay, and it looks good. It, it looks like a game that I would totally love if I picked it up. It looks like a game I would totally hate as well because it looks really hard. Really hard. Yes. Just really, really hard. Yes. Um, and I just can't do that to myself. I just can't. Yeah. Um, but I think that it gained a lot of popularity. And so it it's got a should following. be, yeah. it, it does have a following. And I think that it deserves to be in this category. Um, I've never heard of like a dragon. I haven't either. The star Wars games. I don't think they're really, they're not really anticipated. Like the, they're the like Pokemon games. They know you're going to come out with one every yeah, year. Yeah. And the point. one that just came out, um, it, By it was, EA too, and everybody hates. Yeah, EA. Everybody hates EA. Um, it, from what I hear, it was a good game, not remarkable, just a good game. Tekken Eight. I mean, it's Tekken. You kind of know what you're gonna get. Um, Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah. No. No. I know. Dummy head. I know. I know. You're oh so my, mean, Katie. Oh my god. No, she's right. I deserve that. No, you, you do didn't. deserve it. You do. Now, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I, I am anticipating that, but I think Hades 2 is the winner here. Hades 2, yeah. hands down, is going to win. I would have to agree with the both of you on this, as much as I hate to admit it and agree with you. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, no, I think that's going to win, but I'm also still like, Ooh, one foot in, one foot out for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I don't know. But... Let's move on to the next category, all right? Best Family Game. Our nominees are Disney Illusion Island, Party Animals, Pikmin 4, Sonic Superstars, and Super Mario Bros. Wonder. What do you guys think is going to be the winner? Wonder. I disagree. You think so? Yes. I think wow. this is the one that a Mario game is not going to be the, the winner. I honestly have no clue. I voted for Pikmin 4 because I wanted to support Pikmin. I think it it needs support. If it if we want to see more Pikmin games, it needs support. 
I yeah. feel um, like that'd be the other one that would win, other than Mario Wonder. No, actually, no. Animals. I think Party Animals. That really? was in. Yeah, that was That's a. My vote. Um, that was a another underground game that was really popular. Um, Su- Sonic Superstars was was good from what I hear. Um, and I just don't know about Super Mario Wonder. I've played. I've spent a good amount of time playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder. I don't think it's as good as everybody is saying. I don't think it just has the audience. I whether it's a good game or not, I don't think the audience is there for it. Maybe it's supposed to be a Christmas gift for everybody this these holidays and, and right. And so I don't think it has built it. up traction. I guess is the way to work. I don't know. I, I don't know, but that I've seen a lot of advertisement for Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Yes, I have as well. But the the game itself is interesting. Um, just the way that it's formatted. Um, it's very different. It's not just a regular, no, oh, you're on a map. Not. And like when you're looking at the overworld, when you're looking at, a, at the map, there, you can, you know, sort of traverse it in different ways. It's not open world. But it's just done in a very different way. And then the levels themselves, they're very fun. But there's it's, nothing that's not the same as your typical Mario. Right. And so I don't I just don't know if it's as memorable as other Mario games. But you know, maybe I could be wrong. But um looking at these other um nominees, Disney Illusion Island, I that looks like a cute game. I actually wanted that game, low key, but I just never got it. Because I got a million other games. I to just play. don't think that's a winner. It's not a winner, but it deserves to be nominated. Yeah, that's um, fair. going back to Sonic Superstars again. It was pretty popular. I've not played it because I've got a million other games to play. It looked good. It looks a lot of fun, but again, it doesn't look like a winner. I just heard a lot of beef about the game, so I don't know if it's going to be a fan favorite. So I just don't know. But Party Animals, it was popular then, online. As much as I would love Pikmin 4 to be the winner, I don't think it will be. As much as I would just love it, it's not going to be. So, what a, what a shock it would be if it actually won. I would be so happy. I would be so happy for it too. It's, because it, it really is win. such an enjoyable game. It's so much fun. Anybody could pick it up. Literally anybody, anybody could pick up this game and have so much fun with it. The the scenery is beautiful. The music is wonderful. The characters are adorable. D- perfect. And it's not difficult either. It really is a simple game to play. So have you have you beaten it? I beat the uh, base game and now I'm doing the like continuation. Yeah. OK, so it, it's so much fun. Oh, my God. So, okay. really, really love that game. But anyways, moving on to our next category. Best performance. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right. Help me with these names. So, we have Ben Starr for Final Fantasy 16, Cameron Mon- Monaghan? Monaghan? Monaghan. Monaghan for Jedi Survivor. Idris Elba for Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Melanie Lib- Libberd. For Alan Wake 2, Neil Newborn for Baldur's Gate 3, and Yuri Lowenthal for Spider-Man 2. Okay. My first immediate thing is Neil Newborn for Baldur's Gate 3. Yes, that's the one I was looking at. Yeah. Everyone has talked about not only his performance, but just the entire performance around about the vocals and voice actors. For Baldur's Gate. I think Baldur's Gate is going to sweep the awards. Yes. I think it will too, which is... We'll get to I'm it! Very, we'll get to I'm it! Scared. We're going to get to it, but I mean, it. might as well okay. put it out there. Okay. Baldur's Gate 3 is going to destroy this uh, award. Uh, he said it! It's so sad. I don't want to know. I don't want to... There, It's gonna. It's it is. gonna. I don't want to. Because you know, wanna. all those Baldur's Gate hell nerds are out there just... Vote, 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 vote. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking at one right now. He didn't vote, yep. but he is uh, one of those people. Yeah. Loved the game. He oh, Those Baldur's man. Gate people are just... Balder, yeah. you know. Yeah. But I think very rightfully so. It's a really well done game. Yeah, they, so, they do good work over massive. there. Massive. Yeah. Yeah. Massive. A lot of details, a yeah. lot of little intricate things that just make the game so much more enjoyable 
Um, so I'm going to have to say not well, only just his performance, but out of these other ones, I don't know if, if there's really competition. So I'm really... Now, for, oh, go ahead, Katie. Go ahead. Go now, ahead. I, I will say um, Monaghan... He did a lot. It wasn't just voice acting. It was also um, performance capture. Oh uh, yes, motion yeah, capture. Thank you. Yeah. So it's not it's not just voice acting. In fact, uh, Yuri Lowenthal. I don't know if he did uh, motion capture as well. Um, so you know you got to give it, give them some credit for that. I think they all did great jobs. I think they should. They deserve a spot on best performance, but I think the winner rightfully should go to Neil. Which I think leads me into my next thing. Since you guys think um, Baldur's Gate, Neil Newborn is going to be the favorite for that role. Then you go into the next category, best score, best music. Again, I think Baldur's Gate might steal Tears of the Fiendom, Kingdom's Thunder. <laughs> Kingdom. And Kingdom. you know, it's fine uh, because... Kingdom. I'm I'm fine with that because um, I've tried many times to hum the theme song to Tears of the Kingdom. It's and so I can't. good. Well, I can't. I um, love it. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> well, the, yeah, the saxophone. Everybody went wild for that saxophone. They I loved was, it. Yeah, it's they so loved it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yes, but I remember um, Breath of the Wild better than I do Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I will say when you're in the the water temple, great sounds, great oh, music, yes, and yes. the boss battle, great music. Yeah. The oh yes, the temple, piano. Yeah, the, the wind temple boss, the one that yes. flies in the sky. <gasps> yes. The music is so good. Yes. But I don't think that's enough to get them the win. No, and yeah, and I'm okay say, with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um. You know, in your heart, you know what's good. Yes. You know what's good. I know it's good, and I can totally appreciate a different game, even though now, one I've not played even one, whatever. Now, I'm going to talk about this. Uh, we It's not on our list to talk about, but I'm going to throw it out there very quickly. It is a travesty <gasps> that... Octopath Traveler 2 was not nominated for anything. If anything, it would have been nominated for Best Score and Best RPG. It was not nominated for either one of those. Oh, wow. And it's not just because I'm a fangirl. The music for the original Octopath and 2 is superb. From I had to analyze this music from like a music student standpoint. Yeah. I went to school for music, and and so I was analyzing the the music, and um, it is stellar. Mm -hmm. And so for it to not be nominated for for best score or soundtrack or anything, anything that is insane. Same. Well, even is there is there a story category, like best RPG. story or like best writing? Well, um, uh, best there narrative. Is, okay, yeah, narrative. best narrative. Then I would say yeah. that when you were telling me about how the stories moved you, I feel like it could be easily nominated for something yeah. like that because you're literally following so many stories. And and um, when you finish all eight stories, eight of them. Mm -hmm. Which are numerous hours long each. Then all everybody converges. All eight characters converge, and they have their own single quest together. Crazy, and it's like all the things that you were they were doing on their own. Some of those things come back together. Yeah, and and make up a completely different thing that you're like, why didn't I see this coming? Those are always the best Insane. moments. Insane. Yes. Like, why didn't I see this coming? Um, so good. So good. So, Octopath Traveler, my friends over at Square, thank you for making this game. Even though you weren't nominated for anything, you're nominated for my heart. <laughs> <laughs> nominated in my heart. Yes. Okay. So, I 
this is the last category that we're going to be talking about, and I think we've already made it very clear for best game of the year, okay? It, there is a lot of wonderful games that came out this year, and my Nintendo nerdy side would be like, Tears of the Kingdom. Well, Tears we gotta make sure the there's Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Marvel Spider Man 2, Resident Evil 4, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, all sequels. What the heck? Yeah. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom. No, it's not. I I voted. I voted for Tears of the Kingdom, but I think we all know who's gonna win. Baldur's Baldur's man. Gate Baldur's three. Gate three. Baldur's Gate three. <laughs> and I think that's that's fine. I it, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. It was it. It's Let deserved. the Baldur fans have their time in the sun. It's deserved. Yeah. So I'm not. Breath of the Breath of the Wild already won. Yeah, Breath of the Wild already won, which was such a joyous thing when it did. Yeah. Um, so I'm fine it with that. It was just incredible. And the thing, not only, okay, you could say all you want about Tears of the Kingdom. It's a sequel. Why wasn't it just in the first game? It's like they released the first game early and this is just DLC. No, it's not. This game changed so much for gaming as it go as the first one did. And now the sequel, you were able to create in the game yeah and that's something you know you have minecraft but this isn't like minecraft you're literally making these insane life. structures oh, out of you know the stuff that people you're making life you're so dumb um <laughs> you're getting to be a game developer almost what can i do if i combine uh a and b together and making a b c d X, whatever letter you want to come out with in something like that had not been done so uh, say what you want about it being you know um oh, it's just a dlc and then oh they use the same map you get two new maps you get to fly in the air which is awesome you get to go underground and it's an entire thing of the map underground which is in completely different landscape but so cool and then the creepy factor as well oh they just so really, scary it is really so scary upped it terrifying so no it, it won't win game of the year i don't predict it will <sighs> but what what are you what are you over there about no it's like I, like my heart wants it to win you know but those Baldergate fans, you know? Dang. I can't tell Dang, if you're being shoot. for real or... I don't think he's being shoot. Why or Why? Why would he want Tears of the Kingdom? I don't, to win? I don't know. He but... wouldn't. I, I mean... He's being, he's being a dingbat. Well, he hasn't here's... even finished the first game, Kate. I know. Oh, I had to carry his butt. Yeah, you know, from... that's why that little sucker over there is pulling your leg. I'm, I'm really torn up right now that the fact that Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, you know, I win. I bet he voted for Alan Wake too. Ugh. Alan Wake. Who are these Alan Wake people? Who names a video game after a person? Lord. Alan Wake. A white guy. Hi, my name is Alan. Alan Wake. Would you make a video game about my life? <laughs> and then you're kind of delusional if you're thinking. Life? Uh, that Super Mario Wonder would win. You're you're Delulu. I'm sorry. That's no. It's not their best work. It's it's something. It's good work, but not their best. It's something that's for sure. So, I mean, we'll find out tomorrow night. Also, uh, tonight, will we get potential tonight. reveals of Final Fantasy VI Rebirth, Metal Gear Solid Seven. Delta? Uh, Oh, seven? Yeah. Oh, it is a seven. I'm sorry. You, I didn't see you'll that. have I didn't to see excuse my brother eye. and sister. They're a little slow. No, I didn't see the they extra eye. Read, I, it looked they like can't a six. read Roman numerals. I as as a it, it looked like a six from far away. <laughs> I'm an educated woman. Oh, my gosh. Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Isn't that game of the year? How is it a reveal? I don't know. Fable, Ma the new Mass Effect, and Star Wars Outlaws, and then of course, 
<gasps> the reveal of Hades 2. Can we get- No, we'll also get um, Death Stranding 2. Oh, yeah. We'll also get some, I, Can I we bet get you we um, the Chocolatier, Great. Stardew Valley Chocolatier game? Can we? I, I say that unironically. Can, Can we? We because got that one trailer, been, and then like that two was years it. ago. Yeah, that was it. And it looks so good. Where's the chocolatier <laughs> game? So I'm dying. <laughs> made that chocolate. Now I don't think we're gonna see anything from Nintendo. Uh. Nothing. Nothing. We're not because. Why aren't there gonna be a Donkey Kong reveal, Katie? Oh no no no! Now He's listen. So now pulling your leg. Don't well, now listen to this. To listen to this. Ileana and I have talked about this many times. I've said 2024 is going to be the year of Donkey Kong. And they are revealing, uh, what is it? It's in um, Universal Studios, uh, Nintendo World, whatever. They are, let's see, Super Nintendo World Donkey Kong Country opens at Universal Studios Japan in uh, spring 2024. I'm telling you, next year, they're going to do a lot of Donkey Kong stuff because it'll be the 30th <laughs> anniversary of Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong, Death of Diddy. <laughs> Donkey Kong goes on a wild rampage to have revenge on the guys that killed Diddy Kong. Donkey Kong, Sex in the City. Oh. What? <laughs> sex in New Dong City. <laughs> okay. Did you say New Dong City? Donk? New Dong. Donk? Oh. He clearly has not played Mario Odyssey. Yeah, y you Clearly. You Hater. Hater of all things Hater. wholesome. So, we'll, we'll be there to figure it out. Uh, just like the rest of you guys, vote now. I doubt you your votes vote. will do anything. No, you can't. Vo voting is Voting's closed. Voting is closed? Yes. So That's your why votes I was do telling nothing you guys, now. You guys do nothing! <laughs> so, now it is in the hands of the committee. The hands. The hands <laughs> of the committee to see where this... Where, where these awards go and uh we'll talk about it on the next episode and that will conclude this week's episode if you made it this far and you're not subscribed to bump that that means you're not a sibling and you need to become a sibling today okay? but thank you for getting this far into yeah that's pretty impressive uh become a sibling <laughs> today by hitting that subscribe button leave a like maybe a comment down below we love to read your guys's comments uh and that that was this this week's episode in game awards okay this is tonight let's go we've got brian in this corner video game awards video game awards video game awards people get excited for christmas time but i get excited for the game awards we've got kt in this corner video killed the radio star and I'm Ileana, your host, signing off on yet another episode of Bump That. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we will see you guys in next week's episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>